Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, being recorded live as I'm streaming on Twitch. As I'm streaming on Twitch every night at 6 p.m., you can join me and the rest of the community over there tonight if you want. We're always geeking out about one thing or another. And tonight, I wanted to tell you at least 10 reasons why I'm considering switching from my default browser on Android, which I have not switched from in years, to Samsung's internet browser. I had already written off Samsung in terms of software because honestly, the Samsunginess of Samsung is just too Samsungy for me. And I'd heard over time that uh, Samsung's internet browser was actually pretty decent. Didn't really think about it much. And then recently, when I was posting a few of the videos around my uh, Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, uh, things I like, things I hate, comparing that to the iPad uh, Pro 11 5G Pro Premium Platinum, whatever, the recent videos in, in this channel, Someone commented, and I've been replying to pretty much every comment. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'll, I'll, I'll heart your comment and give it a thumbs up and reply uh, when y'all do that, uh, and, and suggested that I take a look, if only because one of my complaints about Chrome on Android is it's a lag fest. It is so juddery. It's just not a smooth experience, and no matter which flags I toggle, nothing works. Someone suggested in a comment uh, that, uh, that I read and replied to to check out Samsung's browser. I'm like, fine. I'm already using a Samsung device as a tablet. I'm using it right now as my, my go-to uh, smartphone. I'll give it a shot. Immediately, I can see the difference. If you're looking for a fluid browser experience on Android, Samsung's internet browser is the one to beat, whether or not you use a Samsung device. So you can use it on a non-Samsung device. Now, there are certain benefits and bonuses if you happen to be using a Sam Samsung device. They've added some other features if you're using Samsung, but even if you're not, you can still get the fluidity on another device. Tested it on the Pixel, it works very well. So right now, I'm using Brave. Brave's the browser I've recommended for Android, if not the desktop, although I'm not happy with the design on the desktop. On Android, it works very well. I appreciate all the features Brave has on Android, minus the Chromium base, which is just juddery. It's just not designed forward. Samsung is using Chromium as a base, but they've got a completely different Chrome, if you will, a completely different wrapper on top of it. And they've made such modifications that I don't want to show you because inevitably, I mean, A, you'd see my browser history, and that's like the number one thing. If I die, and when I die, like my tag, my medical tag, doesn't say my blood type. It doesn't say anything about resuscitating. It says, please delete my browser history. I'm telling you, you need to download it. Forget about looking at screencasts. Forget about looking at screenshots. Download it and try it. So the fluidity immediately won me over. And then I started to dig in deeper. Uh, on a Samsung device, you can add plugins or add-ins, uh, which is nice to extend the browser functionality. I haven't even begun to look at half of those because I don't want to weigh things down with the browser. I just need something simple. It's got ad blocking, at least support for external ad blockers, though the list is not exactly awesome. I'm using AdGuard. I don't know if there's one that's better for, for Samsung's browser. They're all kind of old and seemingly janky. Uh, not great. Uh, but uh, on an external device, you can still use ad blocking or toggle that as, as an add-in um, if you're not using a Samsung device, which allows you for more add-ins. So that's a nice little bonus. Uh, I love the fact that immediately you are seeing a true, I, I used to call it AMOLED uh, 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 option. Like, it's black. Blacks are black. It's just black. Forget dark mode being pseudo-dark, this gray. It's just black. And I love that about this app. It's just, it's black. Address bar is black. The status bar area is black. It's just, it's astounding. Like, I, I the fact that they, they went that far, settings are black, everything's black. You're just immersed in blackness. And I love that about the app. No other browser comes close. Uh, so the, it's very dark or a true black mode. Uh, another thing that, that they do, which is nice, is that by default, they have it so that if you love dark mode, all the sites you visit are forced into dark mode, but you can turn that off if you want. And when I found that feature, I did, which was good. Uh, another thing that I like about Samsung's internet browser is that you can set the browser font to be your default system font. So whatever your default system font is can be forced in web pages on the browser. Things may not display correctly because they were designed for other fonts, but I love the Samsung One font. Love, absolutely adore the Samsung One font in everything. It is it is the best Android font I've ever had a, ch a chance to use, and I wish I could get it on, on system-wide on other devices. That's probably not going to happen. Um, I love the fact that the, the Samsung internet browser is, is, it has a fully true immersive mode, as in you're scrolling and you are immersed. You are in the web page. Uh, to the point where on a Samsung device, you can choose to hide the status bar. You can't do that on a non-Samsung device, but wow. Uh, like, you're just, you are in the web page. Nothing, again, 
comes close. On the S7 Plus, of course, I'm I'm, I'm sometimes yeah, I'm using a larger screen always, but uh, you know sometimes I'm I'm running it in desktop or Samsung Dex mode, and so there's sometimes an issue where you can't view the the the, the website by default in desktop mode. That's something that is coming in Chrome currently behind a flag where you'll be able to force desktop mode on everything on Google Chrome, certainly on mobile devices you'd want to do that, but it's baked in as a feature right now in the Samsung internet browser, which is great. Uh, the, the, there are a few caveats, by the way, to me maybe not wanting to switch. This is one of those things, not just talking about um, the, the, the ad blockers, not really sure how well they're working, uh, but also, I mean, because they, they do things to web pages that Brave does not, uh, but also the uh, uh, the the, uh, the forcing of the desktop site uh, on mobile reminded me that Samsung's internet browser is a few steps behind the latest release of Chrome. So I, I hope they kind of speed that up. I also don't know how frequently they're going to update or how frequently the Samsung internet browser is, is updated. There's a beta version, and I'm thinking about using the beta version, not just for new features, but because of the updated version of Chrome, the underpinnings. Uh, another thing I love about this, another reason why I'm thinking about switching, though, uh, better tab management. And this is something that I, I, I crave because I don't, even even toggling flags in Chrome, it's, it's, it's not the same. Design-wise, Chrome is just not there on mobile. It is, it's not. It's certainly not on Android and, and absolutely not on iOS. The desktop, I, I feel that they paid a lot of attention to design. Chrome OS for sure. But like Android just d d doesn't get any love for design. In, in the Samsung Internet Browser, you can choose, like at this point, at least three tab uh, view options. So if you're tabbing, you can get like square thumbnails, which is great, and I love that on the big screen. But you can also do like these little chiclet bars uh, if you want. So I like that on the small screen. Uh, you can even stack them like the old index card flipping, which I never liked. I don't know how that ever took off. Uh, so you can tweak that element right there from within Samsung's internet browser. You don't have to dig very far. They don't have tons of options. But the options they have, I feel, are absolutely amazing. Uh, the thing that also is winning me over, uh, not just the, the black toolbars and status bars and the address bars, but you can customize the toolbar. You can rearrange the options. You can like move things around. You can eliminate things you don't want. You can add things. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. I'm like, I use certain icons all the time. Like I'm always sharing, always. So I wanted to put a share icon right there. Boom, I've got it right there. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it is, it is the perfect implementation of a feature. Everything that I've run into is, 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 I'm not even saying I'm a power user. I didn't think I was a power user, but every feature that I've run into on Samsung's internet browser is, nudging me further and further along to switching, which is something I never thought I'd do. I'm kicking myself for not looking at this software before. Like, I've got a lot of feedback for the product managers, certainly, you know me in software, but you know me in software, and if I'm making this recommendation, there's a reason. Fluidity, number one, I, I can't, I gotta underscore that, enough time. Customizing the toolbar, who'd have thought? Um, the, the, the replacing of the font, you know, you know to being able to, to replace uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the system font or use the system font for all the web pages that you've got loaded in, uh, uh, um, you know, that you might load up. Uh, I love, I love Samsung One. Did, have I said that? Did I say that? I can't remember. I've been gushing about this to anybody who would listen because, you know, when, when it comes to like switching browsers or talking about browsers, we all kind of get excited about our top choices. So, you know, I'd be curious to know what other things I might be missing uh, that I'd be interested in in knowing about Samsung's browser and, uh, you know, what the caveats might be. Because, like I said, I don't take this very lightly. People ask me about my default browsers all the time, and, and I, I always answer them like, it depends on the system that I'm using. Uh, on Mac OS, you know, I'm using Chrome. On, on, on mobile, I had been using Brave, but now I'm considering switching to Samsung Internet Browser. Uh, and the, the same thing with the Tab S7 Plus. The, the problem is, is that Samsung doesn't have a desktop internet browser and, and its syncing is, is, is partial and it's not everything I need it to be. So like, inevitably you're always having a trade-off. You're always making some kind of concession. There's no perfect browser experience anywhere, which is great because that's where innovation comes in. Oh, I forgot, Windows, I use Edge. Edge, I really like on Windows. I, I like what, what they're doing there. Uh, but, but, but Samsung is, is, is ruling the roost on Android. I'm, I'm switching. Did you switch? Are you thinking about, are you going to try it right now? Try it right now and get back to me. Like, seriously, that's the comment you got to leave. And then, and then I'll see you tonight on Twitch.